How you guys doing? I want to talk to you really quickly about the glory. I want to talk to you really quickly about the glory of God um, and how the glory of God is the answer to every need that you have in life. Um, God's glory is his kabod. There's three words in the Bible for glory. There's the kabod glory. There's the doxa glory. And then there's the manifested glory. Uh, there, there's the doxa glory. There's the the shekinah glory, and then there's the uh, uh, the doxa glory. Is the is the um, let's go to the kavod glory. The kavod glory is the weighty glory of God. So it's when the weight the weight of God comes into a room. That's when you can't stand. That's why you see people slain in the spirit. That's why you see people uh, fall out under the power of the of the Holy Spirit. Slain, Benny Hinn. Catherine Kuhlman. These are examples of the doxa glory. This is an example of the glory where you cannot stand because of the intensity of the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit upon a life. So we've seen that in so many of the generals that carry this doc, and you can carry that glory, the kavod glory of God. And so then there's the next dimension, which is the doxa glory of God. The doxa glory of God is the glory, the glory that Moses experienced, that Enoch experienced. It's the knowing of God. It's the level of knowing. It's the level of knowing him personally, intimately. It's it's that level of glory where he where Moses said, show me your glory, Lord. That's the doxa glory. Then there is the Shekinah glory. The Shekinah glory is the manna, the gold dust, the, 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 the cloud by day, the fire, the pillars of fire, the, the, the cloud. That's the manifest. The rain, uh, the rain, the shut up, the, 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 the the uh, the manifestation of the fire of God that came down and the children of Israel was in the wilderness. That's the do- that is the Shekinah glory of God. That's the glory of God that we see Ruth Heflin walk in and we see Joshua Mills walk in and that's the glory of God where we see angels and uh, uh, angel feathers and all this type of supernatural signs, wonders, and miracles uh, that comes out of that experience. These are the three levels and three dimensions of the glory of God. Now, how do we move in these? How do we experience these d- dimensions? Now, one of the ways you move in this for certain is impartation. Uh, you, you get around people that carry the glory. You get around people that manifest the glory. You ask them to lay hands on you. You serve their ministry. You sow into their ministry financially. Uh, you, you begin to walk with these men of God, read their books, read their material. That's how you do it. The next level is prayer. Uh, as you pray, the deeper you go in prayer, the more you will manifest God's glory. The deeper deeper you go in fasting, you will manifest God's glory. Uh, the deeper you go in the word of God, you will manifest God's glory. These are a these things together create a one-two punch where you will experience the supernatural manifestations of God's glory. All three dimensions will manifest in your life if you do the things I just said. Impartation, fasting, prayer, and the word of God intensely. I'm talking about intense radical devotion, surrender, uh, uh, seeking the face of Jesus will manifest these three dimensions of the glory, praise, thanksgiving, a life of worship and fellowship with the Holy Spirit will create a dimension of the glory where you will see miracles, deliverance, the dead raised. You will see uh, the incredible favor of God come on a life that will manifest the miraculous, the power and presence of the Holy Spirit on your life. These are the three dimensions of God's glory. I want you to share this today. Manifest God's glory. Like us, subscribe to our YouTube channel today. God bless you.